Welcome to part 2 of this video tutorial series on making a trip mining blueprint. Now in this tutorial we're going to actually do the trace out from here to see if this beam is intersecting with anything and make the trip mine explode if it is. We're going to jump back into the trip mine blueprint and jump into the event graph this time. In the event graph we're just going to add a event tick. Now every single tick all we're going to do is just simply trace out in the direction of that laser. If we're intersecting with something go ahead and explode. Now the logic for determining the start and end point of the trace is identical to the logic we use for determining the start and end point of the beam. So if we go into the construction script and grab everything here from trip mine mesh to get socket location and rotation, the adds and the range, copy that over with control C into the event graph, then straight away what we have is the logic for determining the start and end points of our trace. Off event tick we can drag and we want to do a single line trace by channel. Give that a sec to auto save. So our start value is going to be once again the socket location and the end value is going to be the result of this addition just like we used back in the construction script. The next thing we need to do is determine if we've actually hit something with this trace. So off the single line trace, we'll do a branch with the condition of the branch being the return value of the trace. And this will be true if we've hit something and false if we haven't. We also want to take the hit result and break that apart to get all the individual variables inside that struct. Now if we have hit something with this trace, this true here will fire. And then what we want to do is verify exactly what that is. So if we've hit something, we're going to have a result here in hit actor. We want to see if this result is going to be a pawn. So we're going to do a cast to pawn to verify that's it. Because if we hit a projectile, we don't want to explode. We don't want to explode when a player walks through the trip line. If this is successful, then for now, all we need to do is actually explode. So I'm going to go ahead and drag off here. Do a spawn emitter at location. The emitter is going to be this P underscore launcher underscore IH. The location is going to be the location of the actor. After we spawn the emitter, we also want to deal radial damage. So the base damage. I'm just going to set to be 100. Once again, the origin to be the location of the actor. Radius for now, 512. And once again, you can promote these to be variables if you want these editable through the instance. Damage type class is going to be the explosion. The damage causer is myself. It's this uh, trip mine causing the damage. And after we apply the radial damage, we want to destroy the actor. With all that set up, we can hit the compile button. And we've got our blueprint set up here, so I'm just going to really quickly jump in, do a play from here, and cross the line and see what happens. There we go. As soon as the trace hits us, the, blue, uh, the trip mine explodes, and we die. So that was all, that was a short sharp one. In the third part, we're going to set up a timer so it explodes after one second, and also set up this color here, the red, to be changing. Uh, thanks for watching. 